What's up, fellas? So today we're here to discuss why helping women financially lowers attraction. All right, so here's the thing, guys. When you're dealing with women, anything outside of just you genuinely is going to lower her attraction, all right? If you're taking a woman on expensive dates, I'm not talking about girlfriend mode. I'm talking about if you got a first date tonight and you're thinking about taking this girl to a $200 or $150 dinner, so essentially what you just told her is, I'm lower value than you, so let me compensate you for your time. All right, that's what you're subconsciously saying. You're saying I'm of lower value than you. This is the same thing compliments do, guys. Why well, I tell you not to compliment women, women, because you're essentially saying, let me tell you how beautiful you are to compensate you for being with me. All right, so let me boost your head up for being with me. All right, guys, what I want you guys to understand is that we're good enough as is. All right, that's the bottom line. That's how you're going to get the genuine attraction from women, all right? And let me tell you guys something else too, man. Anytime a girl lick my ass, she instantly lowers my attraction, all right? I appreciate the ass licking, but she lowers my attraction. Why? Because she's essentially saying, I'm willing to do whatever I can to make you happy because I'm of lower value than you, all right? So let me lick your ass to make you happy. All right, every time a girl lick my ass, I instantly lose attraction, all right? That's the th same thing that happens with women. That's the same thing that happens with women when you eat their pussy. Now, listen, does that mean she gonna stop fucking with you? No, but what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna have a harder time making her submit, all right? You can't make a woman that thinks that you boosted up to let her think that she's greater than you submit to you. That don't even make fucking sense. So what you essentially gonna have end up having is a fucking headache. All right? A woman that thinks she's better than you is never going to be satisfied. You think a woman that uh, you validated and may feel greater than you is going to submit to you? That don't even make fucking sense. So if you want a woman to be submissive to you, she have to look at you as the king. All right? That can't happen if she thinks she's greater value than you. All right? So that's the bottom line, guys. Always carry yourself as high value. Now, listen. I want you guys experiencing what alpha males feel. You never gonna experience that as a fucking beta male, all right? So if she takes you as a beta male provider, let's hypothetically say, okay, you go out and you do expensive dates or you help her with her bills or something like that, you lower her attraction, but she'll still fuck with you as a beta male provider, all right? But she still gotta go cheat with the alpha because every woman has to get that lust out, all right? They gotta have a guy that brings it out of them naturally, all right? They don't. They don't want to just sleep with a guy who has a fucking business relationship, all right? There's no passion in that, all right? That's like a job. Your job is to pay all the fucking bills. Her job is to get you off every now and then. And I say every now and then because she's not going to be all over you like that. You want, If you want women to be all over you like that, they need to respect you as the king. That cannot happen if she sees you as a beta male provider. All right, you're only a fucking wallet. All right, so I don't want you guys, you know, trying to buy women or something like that. You'll never, you, you might be getting a little pussy, but you'll never get that genuine passion. You'll never know what it fucking means to have a woman sucking on your dick for an hour and love it. That's what happens when a woman submit to you. All right, she sucks on your dick for a whole fucking hour and she loves it. It's not a job. All right, some of you guys can barely get a girl to fuck you. You got to take out, you know, Put in your appointment book, hey, we're going to have sex Tuesday and Friday and all this and other bullshit. You don't know what it feels like to have a woman jump on your dick as soon as you walk through the house. And you won't as long as you come, at the come into the relationship as a beta male provider, trying to overcompensate for who you are, all right? So here's the thing, guys. This is why I say drink. See, it goes deeper than just being cheap on the dates and keeping your investments low. It also goes to her seeing you as an alpha. An alpha male seems, essentially thinks... I don't have to compensate you for your time. I'm good enough as is. When you come at a woman as a beta male provider and you're trying to, you know, compensate and show her that you're of greater, she's of greater value than her, then you got to compensate you for, compensate her for her time. All right? So cheap first date go more than just keeping your investment low, guy. It also helps her see you as an alpha male. All right? This is also why I tell you guys to ask women back to your place. Beta males don't do that. I always ask a girl... I can tell you right now, 80% of them going, 80 to 90% of women going to say no, but you ingrained in her head that I'm not no fucking beta male, all right? And the next thing I seen somebody over there wanted to know, uh, sent me a question saying, uh, 
he want to know some great conversation starters. All right, guys, so this goes back to the video I made yesterday. See, uh, you know, I told you guys my approach, but if some of you guys just want to have great conversation starters, this is why it's important to do, meet women doing things you love, all right? So let's hypothetically say you at the museum, you like art or whatever. You can find a picture and you can talk on it and ask her, you know, how long have you been into art or shit like this, that, and other. If you, if you meet a girl uh, shooting pool or whatever the case may be, how long you been shooting pool or, you know, how good are you, whatever the case may be, guys. This is another thing that's going to help you if you're meeting women doing things you love to do. All right? It leads to great conversation starters because you can talk about it intelligently. All right, because you know it. If I was to meet a girl now who's into video editing and stuff like that right there, we'll have a long ass conversation. Why? Because this is something I'm into. I'm loving fucking with this YouTube shit. So if I met a girl who's in a video room, um, editing class or some shit like that, we'll obviously have a lot to fucking talk about. All right. So this is gonna help you with your conversation starters if you meet women doing what you fucking love to do, all right? If you like to hitchhike and you meet a girl out there that's hitchhiking, that's some shit y'all could talk about. That is a great conversation starter. How long have you been doing this? You know, uh, what made you get into this? So this is another reason why, guys, you want to meet women doing what you love to do. Because if you meet women doing what you love to do or whatever the situation may be, that right there in itself can be the conversation. Whatever y'all are doing, whatever the activity is, you can talk about that right there. All right, guys, that's very important. But getting back on the first topic, guys. Uh, so any of you guys who got a date tonight, just understand that unless it's a girlfriend or a girl you've been fucking with or some shit like this, if this is a first or second date and you're trying to do an expensive a date, essentially what you're letting the girl know is that she's of high value than you and she, her attraction is going to drop. She's still a fuck with you. She's still a fuck with you. Every girl need to have a beta male provider, you know, around taking her out for steaks and uh, lobster and shit like that right there. But the point I'm saying is you'll never know what the fuck it means to have a girl suck the shit out your dick. All right? I want all you girl guys to know how it feels to have a woman suck your dick thoroughly. All right? That's what happens when women are genuinely interested in you. All right? Then that only alpha males are the only ones that experience that. Beta males will never uh, never get that feeling. It is your relationship with her is a pure contract. Even if you're not married, it's a pure contract. You provide, I give, I issue you some pussy once or twice a week. That's the contract. All right. So no expensive dates, no compliments. All you're doing is lowering the woman's attraction. All right, guys. Like the video, comment down below. Stop all that goddamn expensive ass dates trying to buy a bitch, trying to impress a bitch. All you doing is lowering her fucking attraction and letting her know she's of higher value, value than you. You're good enough as is. Take that bitch for a drink and call it a fucking night. Goes a like, Ask me. Um, he had some physical issues going on. And it was affecting his confidence with the ladies and things like that. And sometimes the, the ladies would say something about it. All right, so before I get to the physical aspect, let me get to this part of it right here, guys. Guys, with anything as what you are, if you're five foot five or seven foot five, or whatever the case may be, you got long hair, short hair, bald hair, whatever the case may be, always uh, you want to deal with women who like you for you. All right, like I'm bald head, so I don't want to talk to women who like guys with hair. You understand what I'm saying? So. You know, for you do anything, understand this here. You want to deal with women that like you for you, all right? So you don't want to deal with... If I hear anything about a woman that slightly might not like me, I, I just won't deal with it. I want to find women that are just naturally into me for who I am, what I don't got time to change who I am. And she like a clean-shaven guy, I have a fucking beard. So I don't need you talking on a date about how you like clean-shaving men. So, the, oh, I wear earrings. If you don't like men who wear fucking earrings, what are we talking about? So, guys, before I even get to that aspect of it, you need to understand, find women that like you for you. The, the thing is, all of us have insecurities. When I was younger and I first started balding, I've been bald now for 10 years, but when I was 24, 25 and I started balding, I was insecure about it, all right? And it was very annoying to see my hairline receding up in here. And of course, as time went on, I learned to just accept it. All right, guys. So if you got two types of insecurities. You got the self-inflicted insecurities. That's when you're overweight or like what my man got right here. He got a bulging stomach that's bulging out. And I'll tell him on how to fix that in a second. 
and you got the ones that are out of your hands. And that's like being short or being dark skinned or just not liking who you are as a whole, all right? Or you maybe got a small penis, whatever the case may be. You got those type of insecurities that are out your hands, all right? But what you wanna do if you're short or you're bald or you have a small penis, you wanna find women that like those things, all right? And if you got the insecurities that you can fix, you know, stop feeling sorry about yourself and fix them. So if you're overweight and you're insecure about it and it lowers your confidence, well, lose weight. And if you're like my man right here who's backed up with his stomach bulging, you want to fix that. So how you want to fix that? Well, you know, without, you know, trying to be your di doctor or diagnose you or whatever, just listening to you from my experience in the field of training, it sounds like you're backed up, all right? It sounds like you need to get a cleanse. It's because guys, as we age, as we age, the food and shit that we eat, some of it stays in our colon, some of it stays in our small intestine, large intestine, as it moves to the colon, some of it stays in our stomach, all right? And as we age, and it affects everybody different. It might not affect me till I get to 60. It might affect you when you get to 25. Everybody's fucking different. You know, everything hits everybody different, all right? It obviously is affecting him now. So what's done happen is he done backed up. It sounds like you're backed up. It sounds like your walls and your intestines or your, in colon, or your colon or your stomach, all that shit sounds like it's starting to back up and you need a cleanse and you need to get that shit up at you, all right? So you need to go to the store and get your cleansing product. All right, which is going to cleanse you out. I never did one. I haven't had that issue yet, and I haven't had any stomach issues or nothing like that. But as we age, at some point, we're going to need to do a cleansing, guys. All right? Just, even if just for colon health. All right? That's how you get counseled. That's how you get all type of shit. We need to clean our system out from time to time. That's, the, that's one good thing about fasting is that it cleans your fucking system out with all the waste and products and shit that's lined up in your small intestines and all that type of shit, your stomach, your colon, all right? So it sounds like you need to do a cleansing, brother. And then he said on the tendonitis. On the tendonitis, guys, as we age, our movement pattern starts to catch up with us. Not only do our tendons uh, lose the elasticity in them, like they not as durable because as we age, our tendons and joints start to dry out. That's just age. You know, our, um, our vertebrae, our disc in our back, our knee, like our meniscus, all these things as we age, they dry out. Our joints, our tendons, they just get, they just dry out as we age. You can't, you can't beat mother nature. You can't beat father time, all right? So as we age, we're gonna start having tendonitis because our tendons can't handle the amount of stress that it did when we was fucking teenagers, all right? So you're gonna start dealing with tendonitis. The only thing you could do about it is to stretch more, do yoga, do foam rolling and shit like that, all right? So I wanted to put this on this channel because I, I want, I, you know, also guys, as we are trying to fuck these hoes to sleep, I also want to teach you guys how to remain healthy. And then as we age, even you younger cats, you know what I'm saying? I want y'all to get into stretching and things like that, all right? Because as we age, as we age, joints start getting drier, tendons start to get drier, tendons, ligaments, all that shit start to lose uh, water and they dehydrate and they just can't take the amount of tension that they used to, our disc also, all right? So start doing your stretching. If you're getting a repetitive to movement pattern, so let's say you do something like this where you do this movement pattern, where you're going to get tight up in here all the time because this is your repetitive movement pattern, all right? So you need to stretch so your body is uh, more mobile because your body is going to try to form to the pattern that you do the most, all right? Even when you sleep, if you always sleep on the right side, your body's gonna grow tight to that side because that's the way your that's your movement pattern. That's the way you sleep in six to eight hours a night. If you're driving a car, sitting at a desk all day, your body's gonna form to that position. All right, so y'all guys need to get into stretching. That's what that's gonna help you a lot with that tendonitis. All tendonitis is is inflammation of the tendons. All right, that means your tendons are inflamed, which coming from the muscle. The tendons connect to the uh, bone, and the muscle connect to the tendon. All right, the muscle starts pulling too tight on the tendon, and then you got inflammation in your tendon. All right, guys. So I'll, the main reason I wanted to put this on this channel is is to show you guys that we all have insecurities. We all have insecurities. If it's an insecurity that you can do something about, like you overweight or whatever the case may be, get on it, all right? Get that shit done, go to a doctor, do whatever you gotta do, figure that shit out and get it done. If it's something that you can't, like your height, 
or maybe you got a small dick or maybe you bald headed like me or whatever the case may be. If it's something you can't help, then find women that like you for you. All right, but this is something he can fix. This is something you can he can get on and fix that. All you sounds like to me, all you need is a cleanse. All right. All right, guys. Like the video, comment down below. Like I said, guys, I want you guys being healthy. I want you guys fucking these hoes to sleep till you 90. All right, not till you just 40. I want you guys fucking these hoes to sleep till you 90. All right, make sure you're going to the doctor, getting your checkups. Make sure y'all in the gym, not just lifting weight. I want you guys focus on mobility. All right, because without mobility, that is health. All right, all the strength in the world can't ain't gonna help you if you can't fucking move. All right, and you in pain with knee pain. Ten, I don't want you guys in pain. I want you pain-free fucking these hoes to sleep. All right? Like the video, comment down below what y'all want to see next. I appreciate the, uh, the uh, comments, guys. Y'all giving me the recommendation. Good comments. I got all the videos coming. Thank y'all for y'all patience.